Here's the situation. On a regular basis you have to collect comments from multiple people. What you need is a way to consolidate all those responses and put them on the one file. So you can send one file up to your boss. Let me show you the way I do this. First I'll start by showing you the report. Here's a report. It's one file. Each branch has its own tab. They all look the same. And each branch manager is responsible for typing their comments onto their particular tab and sending the file back to me. So I'm going to send one file and I'm going to get three files back. Then I need to consolidate. So the way I, the system I came up with to help me do this is I'm going to save this file twice just as a setup step and then I won't have to do that ever again. I'm going to save this file exactly like it is with a new name. I'm going to call it Reporter. Then I'm going to save it again exactly like it is but with one slight change and I'm going to call it Updater. Now I only have to do that once like I said because those two files are going to be reusable. So I don't need this right now. Let's take a look at the Updater because that's the one with the slight change. Here's the slight change. It's linked via this formula. It looks just like the reporter. It looks just like the report that's going to go out except for it has this formula in here. So let's check it out. It's a simple VLOOKUP formula. It's saying find this invoice on the reporter file and bring back whatever is in column B. Now if there's nothing in column B this is going to want to return an error. I don't want to see an error. That's why I have this if then statement here. So what this is saying is find this info invoice on the reporter file. If there's nothing in column B, then put nothing here. If there is something in column B, then put whatever is in column B right here. And then I have to wrap this entire thing in an if error because as I do this on a regular basis, daily, weekly, monthly, whatever, these invoices are going to change. Most of them will stay, but then I'll pick up some new ones and old ones will drop off. So this formula will try to find an invoice on the reporter that is no longer there anymore. And if it does that, it's going to want to return an error. So this if error is telling it not to do that. It's saying if you look for this invoice on the reporter and you can't find it, return nothing. So that's what that's doing. So let's check this thing out and see how it works. I send out my report and I got my three responses back. So let's see what branch one sent. This is the response from branch one. I'm going to do the same thing on all of these files. The first thing I'm going to do is save my responses as the reporter. That's why the reporter is reusable. This formula right here, which took me a long time to type, and I never ever want to have to type it again, is linked to the reporter. So it's going to look for this invoice number here, then pull back any comments it finds here. Another thing I want to point out is that I'm using a table within Excel 2010 and that's a nice feature because when I paste this formula down here which I'm going to do the table is automatically going to put it in the entire column which is fast. You don't have to use a table to do this though. You just have to make sure the formula goes all the way down. So for me I'm just going to copy this formula and I'm going to put it in here and it just ripped it all the way down really nice but now I don't want formulas in here. I want to copy, paste special, values only. So I got the responses, no formula. That's what I wanted. I'm going to close the reporter and move on to the next one. Now the reporter has to be closed because I'm going to save the next one as the reporter. So to be able to do that, the reporter has to be closed. So here's the responses from branch two. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to save this as the reporter. I'm going to come over to branch 2 on this tab and I'm going to grab these comments. I mean I'm going to grab this formula that are going to help me grab these comments. Then I'm going to copy all the way or highlight all the way down, copy, paste special values to freeze the results. Now I don't need this anymore. I close this and I go over to my third file from branch 3. And I do the same thing. I have to save this as the reporter. Come over to branch 3, grab this formula, put it in here. Come all the way down, copy it, pay special values it to get the responses. Now let me tell you why I'm doing that. I'm going to get these files from day to day from the branch managers. They're going to have one file. Their file is going to have the other two branches on it as well. 
but the other two branches are basically going to go stale because they're never going to touch those other two. They're only going to be working on their own. So even though they send me back a file with all three branches on there, only theirs is valid. The other two are stale. If I had these formulas all the way down here and left them in here, every time I opened the reporter, it would update with the comments from the other two tabs. And that's what I don't want it to do. That's why I leave the active formula here at the top and I have to freeze the results below. So now I don't need this file and if you think about it, here is one file with all three branches consolidated. I could send this up to my manager but I'm not going to and I'll tell you why. Two reasons. This formula which took me a long time to type is still there. If I send this up to my manager, every time he opens it, he's going to get that message, that pop-up message that says, do you want to update links, which can be annoying. I don't want him to see that. So to be able to get rid of that, I have to get rid of this formula. But I don't want to get rid of this formula because that means I would have to type it over and over and over again every time I did this, which I already know I have to do on a regular basis. So I don't want to lose this formula either. That's why I'm using a updater file and then I already explained why I'm using the reporter file. They're reusable. So I'm going to save this with a different name and I'm going to call it report2. Now I don't need this formula here. I can delete it on all three of these tabs. I just removed any link. So now when I send this up to my manager he's not going to get that pop-up message. I still have the updater file so I didn't lose that really long formula. Next time when I send this out again the process is going to repeat. But the good thing about it is the managers, one of the complaints about the managers is I don't want to have to, re they're going to say, I don't want to have to retype comments that I've already typed in on invoices that are still valid. So when I send this file back out, it's not going to be fresh like the first time. It's going to have their comments in it on the invoices that are still valid. So when they get it, these will still be there if the invoice is still a valid invoice. And then all they have to do is type in new comments on the new um, invoices or any invoices they missed or any invoices I ask them to uh, update the comments on because they're not descriptive enough. And then the process just repeats. This is a very fast way to have to do that, to pull all your comments together onto one file and send them out. Let me show you what I did here. I started with the actual report and then I made an exact duplicate of it and called it reporter. Then I made an exact duplicate of it, called it updater. The updater is the one with the VLOOKUP formula. The updater is linked to the reporter. So I get a new report in from these guys and I save it as a reporter. Use the updater to update it. When I've updated the updater completely, then I save it with a new file with no formulas in it and that's what goes out to my boss and that's what goes out to the team. And that is a way to solve this need.